Hello, and welcome to Lent with St. Edith Stein. This is Rebecca, and I'm so glad you could join us today. This podcast is brought to you by St. Edith Stein Co., so please be sure to check out our website at stedithsteinco.com. This podcast is a series of short reflections based on the writings of St. Edith Stein. Just little nuggets of philosophy to help you on your way during Lent. So let's begin with the prayer that St. Edith wrote. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O my God, fill my soul with holy joy, courage, and strength to serve you. Enkindle your love in me, and then walk with me along the next stretch of road before me. I do not see very far ahead, but when I have arrived where the horizon now closes down, a new prospect will open before me, and I shall meet it with peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In her essay, The Ethos of Women's Professions, St. Edith Stein wrote, The religious vocation is the total surrender of the whole person with his or her entire life to the service of God. Vocations cover a wide range of possibilities, and it can be overwhelming to discern your calling. While only men serve as priests, everyone is called to some sort of vocation, and that may take the form of teaching, propagation of the faith, works of mercy, intercessory prayer, offering up suffering, the list goes on. There is a ministry for every person which makes the best use of their individual talents. God has created each of us with intention, with purpose. We each have a purpose. Even from a young age, a woman longs to give herself completely and to belong to another. Young girls on the playground weave bracelets for their best friend. Teenage girls write their boyfriend's initials over and over and over again in their notebook. Young women plan the perfect wedding to symbolize the complete union with their beloved and mothers decorate colorful nurseries to welcome their babies into the world. In every stage of life, we see women giving themselves completely to the one they love best. And vocations are all about total surrender. It's a matter of giving ourselves completely without reserve to God. And when we give ourselves so completely to someone other than God, It can lead to abuse and misery because no one other than God can fulfill this desire. Uh, The childhood best friend, the high school sweetheart, the husband, the children, these relationships are so crucial to us and we need these relationships, but they will never fulfill us the way that God will. St. Edith wrote, only God can welcome a person's total surrender in such a way that one does not lose one's soul in the process, but wins it. And only God can bestow himself upon a person so that he fulfills this being completely and loses nothing of himself in so doing. That is why total surrender, which is the principle of the religious life, is simultaneously the only adequate fulfillment of a woman's yearning. In Mary's life, She took on many roles. She was a daughter, a wife, a mother, an apostle. We see her in each of these roles, taking on her duties quietly, trusting God, loving Jesus. The circumstances in her life changed, but her devotion never did. And everywhere she went, she found her vocation. If we can be a handmaid of the Lord always, acting as his steward in all the stages and circumstances of our lives, then we can find our vocation wherever we go. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope that you'll continue to tune in as we reflect on the writings of St. Edith Stein throughout this Lenten season. May God bless you and may the saints be with you.